Open Books and More has a lot of great nonfiction books that kids can use to learn. We have a lot of really fun fiction books that help kids just love to read. And we also have some actual fun books that are just activities, um, but a lot of them have learning um, aspects to them too, which is really great because it's always great to have fun while you're learning. So the first fun book I want to show you is our Metal and Match series. Um, this is Metal and Match Fairy Tales, one of our summer 2017 new releases. We have Metal and Match on Imagine, Adventure Sports, Jungle Animals, Monsters. So how these work are, you'll open it up, and it says a little bit, so this is about um, Puss, a purring pampered pet, polishes his perfectly princely boots, and proudly practices pussycat pounces. So there's some alliteration here too, which is great. Um, the English teacher in me loves it that these books showcase alliteration like that. Um, so, you can, if you want, turn all three of these little props here, and then you turn two, there's Goldilocks, okay, you know. But what's cool, and oh, then she heard alliteration is with G's. Um, what's cool though is you can kind of mix and match these and come up with a silly story and a silly picture. So, Kids, of course, love doing that. So this one, it's mix and matching fairy tales. Um, some of them, you know, the animals, it mixes and matches the animals. Um, the Imagine has things like um, a witch, an explorer, a princess. And the um, Adventure has things like a knight, a cowboy, um, different things. So it kind of, you know, mixes and matches them all together. And you can make up a lot of really cool stories. So kids love these. That's our Metal and Match series. Um, that's good for like, age three and up. Um, another cool thing we have is our white clean books. So we have a white clean big activity book, white clean first letters, first numbers, um, pen control, all different things. And it comes with a dry erase marker. And this one is dot to dot animals. This is I just got this one recently, so I thought I'd share it. My kids are loving dot to dots right now because my daughter knows all her numbers and she can do it the right way. So this is just a dot to dot animals, but again, um, the activity book has things like mazes, uh, different activities to do, different little doodles, and it's great because you just use the dry erase marker, draw on here, and then you just wipe it clean and you can reuse it. Um, th this is the dot to dot, but it also has the, the words you can trace over, it has the letters, so it is still, you know, very educational. So that's our white clean again. We have all different kinds if you're interested in this type of book. We also have white clean cards. Too. You can check those out. And it's the same idea, but they're just all individual little cards. Um, this is really fun. Uh, our fingerprint activities. This is animals. We have different themes. This one's just animals. Um, but what you do, I mean, you're going to get a little messy, but it's really fun. So here's all the color here. This is, an, this is a big ink pad and there's a plastic cover on this that you can um, put back on when you're done. So this is just um, to kind of practice. So when this is asking you to make some birds. So if you see the little birds are all made out of fingerprints, whether you're doing using different fingers or putting it on a different way. And then after you do the fingerprints, use a pencil or a crayon or something and actually draw wings or a beak to make it a little bird. Really cool. Let me find it here. So here, oh here we're making koalas. So first at the top I'll kind of show you what to do. So you use a fingerprint this way, and then a fingerprint this way. And then, you know, draw its little arms and ears, and you can make little koalas all different colors and put them on the trees. And then let's see, ooh, wriggling snakes, that's a fun one. So they have some, you know, then you just kind of draw, they kind of give you a little tutorial, I guess, first. Here's down here. And then, um, Oh, here's this is a cactus. There's a little worm. Here's a cactus, is what this thing is. So, really cool. Really cool little activity for kids. Um, fun. Help. All, a lot of these ones that involve movements, like the white clean stuff, help with fine motor control too. Like, even this one with the fingerprints, you know, you're trying to put them on a certain way and then you're drawing on them. So, really, really great learning books as well as being fun. Um, this one is so awesome. Our big keyboard book. So it actually makes sound. Mm -hmm. So, but what's neat is when you open it, it um, all, if you can see all of the keys have different shapes on them and colors. So it'll actually give you 
instead of having notes, um, it gives you the shapes to hit to actually play a song. So let's see what this is. Okay, I'm doing this one-handed with my thumb, but... So, really cool, that was London Bridge. And it has, again, it has the, the colors there, so as long as they know their colors and shapes, they can kind of play a little song, and I think that's really fun, and it has, you know, all different songs in here. And the book has the really neat, and again, you can turn it, there's a switch in the back, you can turn it off to the conserve battery. Another really fun one, our Start to Cook book, and this is really great for all ages, whether they're just learning, even some adults um, honestly have told me that they this book has helped them and they've, they've loved having it as a resource. So it's broken up into different tabs, fruits and veggies, uh, dairy and eggs, pasta and potatoes, meat and fish. And when you go to that section, not only are there recipes, um, there's kind of uh, guidelines on how to handle different foods, with different things you can do with those foods, and even little facts about them. So it's very, very informational, um, really great for, us, for older kids especially, and I know that there's a lot of kids that just love to cook. This would be a great, great book for them. So here's like about pastry, you know, instead of just having a recipe, here's some, some things about pastry, how you can make it, different types, rusting the dough, blind baking, so really, I could, actually, I could probably learn a lot from this book too. So that is a really, really great the book that type book that we have um, and the last one these are so popular I always have people coming to check these out when I do vendor shows um, we have wind up and pull back um, books so this is on um, the wind up we have like a pirate ship a tractor um, a train different things and the pullback we have um, a ladybug a car a helicopter so there's a lot of these so this is um, one of the wind up books. So the one main difference is, well first of all, um, the pullback ones are the type where you pull them back and then they can go on their own and the wind up ones have a little knob here. You can see that white thing. So that's one difference. The other difference is um, what the book involves. So like some of the wind up books have little cut out people that you can stand up. Um, this pirate one just has some extra pages of story. So you can see like here's pages with a story and then some pages have a track on them if you can see that track really neat so what happens let's wind up our little pirate ship and let's see if it works if my camera is at enough of an angle so there we go the pirate ship's just going along the page there he goes i don't want to So it's really cute. Kids love this. And there's, you know, there's words that go along on the page too. And the Sea of Beasts. Oh, I put him the wrong way. He's falling off the book. The sea of Beasts, the Island of Doom, Lava Island. So there's, it's like a map kind of. And there's a little compass, north, south, and south. Really neat. So if your kid loves pirates, you have a child who loves pirates. But again, there's different ones other than just the pirate ship. Okay, I hope, um, I hope you liked some of those fun activity books that we have to offer.